All right, so there's a lot to cover today. Let's get started immediately. The Wizard of the Coast is introducing a new format to Magic the Gathering Arena. And what that means is it's a digital only format. It is a it is called Alchemy. The gimmick to this format is is going to have rebalanced magic cards as you can see here. Alchemy features rebalanced versions of existing standard cards to shake up the meta for digital play. Players can expect these regular changes to format to create the dynamic play experience between standard set releases. On top of that, they're injecting new digital cards every set. So standard isn't going away. You can still play standard if you want to. And standard won't have any rebalanced magic card that's going to be identical to your paper magic and alchemy will exist separately from standard which is which is good because if you want that identical paper magic experience it still exists but what i'm bothered by this is the fact that when something is nerfed we use the wild card based on what the text of the card says so if you had if you saw an advertisement of a product and you bought into that product because of what you saw and if they said, if the salesperson said, well, if after you buy it, we get to ruin your product anytime you want by self-detonating it, I don't know, like, which in this case for Alchemy, they could do. We are not getting any wild cards back because compared to another digital card game like Hearthstone, they have, they have their dusting system, which means that... If a card gets nerfed, you can dust the card, which makes the card that you crafted uh, turn into dust. And then you use that dust to craft back something else that, that you want. Because the nerfed card isn't the same, the same anymore. And you might not want that card anymore. So you can use that dust elsewhere. But now, with Alchemy coming, instead of banning cards, they're rebalancing cards. And... When, when we banned cards before, we got our wild cards back because we couldn't play with them anymore. But their logic is that now they're nerfed. They're saying, hey, you can still play with that, those cards, but you also don't get a wild card. So it, this is definitely their way of saying F off, right? Another thing that I want to talk about is the fact that the rebalancing of magic cards. So these digital only cards are coming to historic and... And I love that. I love I love the fact that we are we are getting additional 63 new cards to play with. But the rebalanced magic cards are also being affected in the historic, which makes zero sense. Which would make sense if there were separate balanced cards from standard alchemy and historic. Because their power level isn't identical. But if something gets rebalanced because of alchemy standard then historic also gets affected which is complete nonsense by the way because alchemy is just basically standard with the 63 new digital cards so if something gets nerfed like for instance um for instance orin's epiphany then historic also gets affected even though orin's epiphany is completely playable and fine in historic now it's suddenly unplayable in historic this is like saying if something gets banned in standard let's say arun's epiphany needs a ban in standard and they ban it and somehow legacy gets affected like that doesn't no that doesn't happen if something if arun's epiphany gets banned in standard it stays in standard it doesn't get banned in modern pioneer elsewhere why not have a two different balance list for historic and alchemy those two are my only gripe with alchemy so far but um enough of that talk let's let's look at the rebalance cards real quick and this only affects alchemy and historic i don't know why it affects historic because these are all fine cards in historic but it is what it is so let's take a look urban's epiphany is seven mana there's still 7 mana. But it costs 1 more to play the 4 tell cost. 
take an extra turn after this one so it doesn't create the two birds unless it was foretold. So this is definitely a significant nerf in standard. This means that if you top deck a runes epiphany, you have to at least pay nine mana to make it foretold and then spend the foretell cost, which is seven mana with the additional two. So that's nine mana you have to pay. And that's definitely huge. This is a good nerf for standard, by the way. The gold span dragon, five mana, four, four. Um, when it attacks, create a treasure token. Okay, it looks like it, when it becomes a targetable spell, it doesn't create a treasure token. So, again, good nerf for a standard. Not sure about historic. This is chariot, four mana, four, four. Create two, two green cat creature token instead of two. And create a token as a copy of that. Okay, okay. So it's the same. Oh, the crew cost is different. It's two instead of four. So this is not 100% a nerf. That's like a nerf and above. I'm not sure if this is still going to be playable in standard. It was definitely not playable in historic. I mean, I guess if you were playing some kind of a cat tribal deck because of the cat creature token, I guess now it's kind of unplayable or worse for no reason because cat tribal wasn't really a thing man, man i really wish there was a separate ban list it's, i mean separate rebalanced list it makes no sense to have ban uh, rebalance something in standard and then just get gutted in historic for no reason like i love everything about this alchemy theme like this digital only cards and whatnot that's all cool. We've already seen digital only cards in historic before, so this is not the, this is not something new. Luminar Gasprint. Two minute one one at the beginning of end step. Okay, so instead of a beginning of your combat phase, now it's an end step. It's not a hundred percent on Earth. It's just changed. Against control decks, this will be better. But against creature decks, this won't be. I guess for if you're playing in historic if you're playing scales, um, having that counter on combat would be way better because it, it makes it for an explosive turn. But now you can't do that. And did scales deserve that? I don't think so. Base is Haven. So now it becomes a 3-3 instead of a 4-3. Definitely a lot worse. One attack, one more, one less attack is a significant nerf. In terms of clock speed so this is a this is a huge nerve considering how we have so many good man lands now is there even any point to playing snow omnath five and a four four so it's one more to cast and let's see and there's battlefield scry one okay so everything looks the same except for the cost and a scry one instead of a draw Okay, this, this one is a pretty cool one. Not gonna lie. <laughs> so this will be playable in Historic, this rebalanced version. So this is the only good change I've seen. We get to play banned cards that were once unplayable before. And I think this is, I think this will still be really playable. Like this, uh, this is all this text here, the landfall text. This thing is busted since uh, nothing changed. Okay, let's look at buff. Cosmos Elixir. Instead of gaining just two life, you get to scry one. Still gonna be useless. Druid class is still two mana, but the level three, you have to pay three instead of five. I think it's still gonna be unplayable for the most part. I don't think, right? I don't think the level three was what caused this to be unplayable. I think it's the, it's, it's the initial cost in level two. If this was like maybe like like not even level two, probably just like the fact that Druid class costs two instead of one. Like if if Druid class was one, this would be so much more playable. Might be a little bit busted <laughs> because uh, you're getting so much life from this. I don't know if an aggro deck can actually compete with this. Okay, so the wizard class now is. Level 3 cost went down to 3. Wizard class actually might see play in Alchemy Standard. So we recently got a card that 
reduces the hand size. And with Wizard class, we don't need to worry about hand size. And if you're going for the long run, this level 3 is incredibly powerful. So maybe. Thylanth World Sculptor, 6 mana 5-5. Five, five. Nothing's changed. Except that it's now a trample creature. And also for a landfall, the token that you give counters to get trample until the end of the turn. I still think this card is going to be unplayable, but we'll see. Demi-Lich, 4 mana 4-4. Four, four. Wow. The 3 toughness to 4 toughness buff is actually so huge for both standard and historic. So this is a good change because 3 damage is a recurring theme. Not as much in standard at the moment, but especially in historic. 3 damage... You got Lightning Helix. Unholy Heat only does 2. Without the Delirium, you have Anger of the Gods, which does 3 damage. Wizards Lightning. Like, there's so much, right? So this is this is huge. And you might see a lot of Demi Liches in the future. So overall, I like the buffs. Because if it wasn't standard playable, then it wasn't historic playable also. So if something got buffed in standard, then... It might have a, a potential historic playability, right? So that's a plus. But but if something gets nerfed in standard because it was too powerful, like Luminar Gasprin or Ulrin's Epiphany, then you gotta consider historic. If historic, these cards get nerfed and they weren't that powerful in that format, it made no sense for them to be nerfed, right? So I don't I don't understand their logic. So previously, if something gets banned in Standard, that doesn't mean it gets banned in Modern, Pioneer, or something else, right? So this logic makes zero sense when it comes to nerfs. I think um, as for nerfs, they should probably keep two... They probably need to keep two different rebalanced lists for Historic and Standard if they want to do this. Because this makes no sense. If something gets nerfed in standard, something gets, uh, that car gets nerfed in historic. Makes zero sense. Let's take a look at the, um, the positives. We're getting new cards, which is good because I do think that standard and historic have become a little bit too stale. So getting more cars is good, 100%. And we have already been getting digital only cars in historic before. So this is not. This is not something new. So I do welcome new cards. Now let's look at the bad side. Bad side is that whenever a car gets nerfed, we don't get a wild card back because we don't have a dusting system like Hearthstone does. And number two, if a car gets nerfed in Alchemy Standard, it also affects Historic, which is a nonsense because, again, if you ban a card in Standard, because it's too powerful in standard. It's like the same as saying, let's if let's ban Ulrun's Epiphany in standard. So let's also ban in Pioneer, Modern, Legacy, and Vintage. It makes no sense. Because the ban is for standard. Because it was too powerful there. So if a car gets nerfed in, uh, in standard because the power level is too high there. It shouldn't affect historic. And there should be a different balance list for historic and alchemy standards separately but that's all i have to say thanks for sticking around if you like the video leave a like and a comment below and if you enjoy the content i'd appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button but anyways i'll catch you guys later Bye bye